So New Year's resolution time is just around the corner. And if I was gonna bet on a random person, whether they'd keep their New Year's resolutions or not, I would bet that they wouldn't. Now here's the thing, Ford's Magazine came out and did a survey to see how many people actually kept their New Year's resolutions in 2013. And they found out that only 8% of the population actually kept their New Year's resolutions. 8%, that's awful. But what can we do differently to make sure that we actually achieve our New Year's resolutions? Well, let me tell you a little story about how I went from the 92% of people that tend to fail and move myself to the 8% of the people who succeed and how you can do it also. Back in 2008, I was extremely frustrated with myself and my inability to keep my New Year's resolutions. I was just like the average person. I'd set out these lofty goals, a huge long list of things I wanted to accomplish in that next year, and by the end of the year, I'd accomplished nothing. So I decided I wanted to change things. So I grabbed every book I could find on goal setting, on New Year's resolutions, on how to succeed, and they all basically tend to say the same thing. You need to write it down and post it where you can see it everywhere. You need to tell your friends so they can keep you accountable. And you need to track your progress. And if you do those things, you will succeed. But the thing is, is I tried those things. I had done those things over and over and over again, but I'd failed every single time. And I was frustrated because I wanted to finally succeed. Needless to say, I was really annoyed with those goal setting books. So I changed my focus and I wanted to study more about human psychology. Part of the reason was because I wanted to study about how I could help my clients change but I kind of had this little underlying thing where I wanted to help myself change. Now, while studying ways to help my clients out and understanding psychology and how to help my clients do the things that I'd ask them to do, I realized these are things that I need to be implementing on myself. You see, the books I was reading were more than just the rah, rah, you can do this, write down your goals and just work hard, but it had real world proven ways to help you change your life. And from these books, I've come up with four things that can guarantee you will change your life in the next year. And I know that that's a pretty big statement to say, but after I tell you these four things, I'll show you how I applied it to my own life and what I was able to accomplish this last year. Number one is to set small, easily attainable goals. And that kind of goes against what we're normally taught. We're normally taught to set big goals, things that will get us excited, but we need to set small, easily attainable goals. The reason is because once we can achieve one small goal, that puts us into a success mindset where we can continue to succeed at our goals. Now here's what you'll actually hear about in sports. When a new quarterback goes out into the game, the coach will actually have him run really easy plays. Plays he's almost guaranteed to succeed at. And the reason why is if he throws a new quarterback out into the game and has him throw a Hail Mary and he fails, he's probably going to keep failing. He's going to have that failure mindset right away. But if you throw him in and you have him run easy plays, ones that he'll most likely succeed at, and he succeeds, and the next one you make a little bit harder, and he succeeds again, and then you make the next one a little bit harder, and he succeeds again, eventually that quarterback's going to get into a groove, and he's going to be able to keep succeeding. And the same thing goes for us. If we can take small little victories and turn those into more and more and bigger victories, then we're going to have a better chance of succeeding. Number two is that we can break our goals down into habits. For example, if you want to lose weight, don't focus just on weight loss. Maybe you could focus on working out so many hours per week, or eating more vegetables, or improving your protein intake, or improving your carbohydrates that you're eating. You could also focus on drinking enough water during the day, and also getting enough sleep at night. And this makes it a lot more manageable than just lose weight and change everything all at once. If you can focus on changing small habits over time, eventually you will reach your goal. And number three is to focus on behaviors and not outcomes. Now what that means is to focus on what you're doing and not what the scale is saying or what the tape measure is saying. Too often when we're trying to reach a goal, we focus on the outcome, but we don't pay enough attention to what we're doing today and staying present. If we focus on the behaviors, the outcome will come, but it can't come until we work on those behaviors. And if we're always focused on the outcome, then those behaviors are going to fall apart. And those behaviors are what really get us to our goal. So we need to make sure we're focusing on those. And now number four is to focus only on one goal and one habit at a time. Now, when I first saw this in the books that I was reading, my first feeling was, I can't do this. This is gonna be too slow. I, I won't be able to accomplish what I want to in the time frame that I want to accomplish it in. But the more I thought about it, I realized I wasn't achieving my goals because I was focusing on too many things at once. And so I decided to give it a try myself. And in this last year, let me tell you a little bit about what I've accomplished so far. First, I wrote a book and published it on Amazon. Second, I created my own blog. And when I say created my own blog, I mean I designed it, I built everything, I put everything where I wanted it to be, and I have zero 
technical knowledge on how to create something like that. And along with that, I've built three other websites. Now these aren't elaborate websites, but again, I had zero technical knowledge before I tried this. And I had to go and study and research how to do it. And the third thing is that I started the Body Evolve coaching program. And this wasn't a small task. So far, this program has over 300 lessons, a 12 month workout program that includes descriptions and pictures of all the exercises, videos of all the exercises, a workout log, and all of this has required me to learn how to record video, edit it, do some graphic designing, and some other things that I did not have knowledge about before I even started. And also this year, I started teaching at a local university where I had to completely recreate an exercise physiology course. I was told that I had the job two days before the course started. And in that time, I had to write up all of my tests, all of my lectures, create a syllabus and an outline for the entire class, figure out how I was going to do everything, and then start teaching. And every day I had to keep myself one day ahead of the class to make sure that they were getting the information they needed and they knew what they needed to do to succeed in the class. And along with that, I also entered a body transformation competition for myself, which required me to be extremely strict on my eating as well as follow an intense training program. But over the course of this contest, I put on 46 pounds of muscle and actually gained the most weight in the history of this program. And along with that, brought home some money. And also in the course of the last year, I've almost completed my second book. And I was able to do all of this by focusing on one thing at a time. And trust me when I say that I've been able to accomplish more this last year than I have probably in the last two or three years. And it's because I finally applied what I've been teaching my clients to myself. Now what can you do to keep your New Year's resolutions and make sure that you change your life in the next year? All right, so here's what I recommend. First thing, write down your New Year's resolutions. Make a list of what you want to accomplish in the next year. Next thing is break each one of those down into specific habits. And once you've got all the habits laid out, pick one goal that you want to work on and also pick just one habit that you wanna work on. And then track your habit compliance before you worry about your progress. If you're not seeing the progress you wanna see, look at your compliance, and if it's not where it needs to be, you need to fix that first. Don't change everything until you've got that compliance down and then move on to the next habit. Now, I hope you like this video, and I hope that you please share this on Facebook and Twitter with your friends and family. I'd like to help as many people as I can to reach their New Year's resolutions this year. Now, if you're not already there, head on over to fatlossevolution.com, where you can join in the conversation in the comments section. And along with that, you can sign up for my newsletter, where I'll give you a five-day fat loss course, where this course will teach you exactly what you need to do to completely transform your life and your body. Look, you can do this this year. You can change your life. You can become the person you wanna become. It doesn't take as much as you think it will take, but the important thing is to make sure you're focusing on the most important actions. You have more potential inside of you than either one of us will ever understand. You can accomplish whatever you want. Now go ahead and do it. Take action and do what you need to do to reach your goals today. This is John Gibson. It's been great talking to you and I'm out.